electricity based Gyan Lab tutorial and uh, today we are going to do something very interesting I'm sure you must have all heard of it uh, we're going to learn the concept of short circuit now you know short circuit is always termed as a you know bad concept in electricity and it leads to a lot of uh, electrical wastage so we're going to do a simple activity which is going to help us understand as to why is it so so what we need today for our activity is again uh, you know a simple bulb with a bulb holder a battery holder two batteries along with that one piece of uh, connecting wire and a screwdriver so to you know simply begin we are just going to make a simple electrical circuit as we have already made earlier and for that I am just going to connect the two ends of the uh, battery holder to the bulb holder So I have connected the uh, bulb holder to the battery holder and I am going to quickly affix the batteries and uh, the simple so and let the simple circuit work. See it's glowing. Now what I'll do is I'll connect this connecting wire between the two ends of the battery holder. You see the bulb is not glowing. The moment I remove it, it again starts glowing. The moment I connect it back the, the two ends of the, connect, of the connecting wire it stops glowing so this is short circuit what is happening at this point of time I'm, I'll quickly remove this off so that we do not waste a lot of uh, you know, battery so what, what is happening in this case is, is uh, the mo moment I connect this connecting wire it, since electricity has a property that it takes the path of least resistance so in the case of connecting a wire it does not have to go through the bulb as in the you know so it's basically I have a path here between the connecting wires and I have a path for, for the current to travel through the bulb so what happens is the bulb provides resistance to flow of electricity while the one through the connecting wire does not hence electricity has a tendency to flow through the connecting wire and but in, you know what happens in the process is while you do this activity you will see that the ends of the connecting wire heat up rapidly and you know so and and you know the batteries would also discharge very very quickly if they stay in that state for very long hence uh, short circuit is a very undesirable phenomena and is normally avoided in order to so that you know we do not waste any amount of electricity so i hope you understood the concept very well and you will try this activity at home to understand how short circuit actually works